Many companies want to make changes to their products or to their business models in order to make them more resource efficient and effective, as well as reduce environmental burdens. Now, when such an idea is put forward, one of the first questions that the companies ask themselves is, how is this going to affect my costs? How is this going to affect the costs of the customer or the costs of the other people in the value chain? And on the other hand, how is this also going to affect revenue, the customer's willingness to pay and the perceived value in whatever we're offering to the customer? Now, during my research with Mr. Arie's project, I have worked with large industrial manufacturers of vehicles and industrial equipment, as well as smaller SMEs uh, producing furniture or, for example, uh, printed media in order to answer these questions. So what I have done is to guide them through the process of creating equations for calculating their costs, their revenues, as well as what to include in these equations, what elements to include, and actually putting numbers on them. And then, of course, this creates an image of what can happen to costs and revenues if you make the changes. Now, this information is really, really useful if you're trying to make a change towards more resource efficient and effective products. So you can evaluate ideas that you already have. But on the other hand, this information can also be taken back to the design stage to make whatever idea you have even better or even generate new ideas. So if you are going to be part of the Mysteries Consortium, we will be working together to find out how to calculate your costs and your revenues over the life cycle. My name is Mariana Cambanu and I look forward to working with you.